All right, we are back on route to uh, the world famous, or maybe not world famous, but uh, nationally, domestically famous Chip Inn in search of their Mega Beast Box. That's right, it's another episode of, I know you're not that familiar with, uh, with the mosh pit, but give me your best mosh. Mosh! Box! Mosh! Mosh! <laughs> That's a pretty good mosh, that's not bad. Right, we made it. Did you bring me a mask? You did. That's handy because if you had not brought me a mask, I was going to send you in because they might recognize me. I've been here before and I was less than complimentary about the quality of their kebab, mate. So I don't want to disappear into that door and never come back out again. They keep me in the basement, just beat me with baseball bats and coshes of all descriptions. They probably won't recognize me, but you know, just in case. Hi, I'm here for the, uh, the Mega Beast box. Ah, here it is. Don't think they're gonna kill me. Have you, uh, have you ever seen anyone finish one of these by themselves? No. No? You don't think I can do it, no? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Cheers, boys, thank you. Thank you, mate. See ya. That actually smells pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. All right, it's time for the long-awaited rematch with the Chip Inn. This place is famous for its wide array of munchy boxes. And I actually tried their kebab box, I think like three years ago now. And uh, well, let's just say that didn't end well. <laughs> but today I've got their biggest yet, the new Mega Beast box, which has been all over social media lately. People keep tagging me in it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try and scoff it, hopefully. I've been less than consistent with these things. <laughs> It costs 25 quid, serves four to five people, apparently. You get two pizzas, onion rings, chicken nuggets, doner kebab meat, chicken kebab meat, mayonnaise, cheese, and um, sadly, a, a bunch of chips too. I said I was done with chips. Anyway, without further ado, this is Baby's Food and this, well, hopefully this is, uh, this is redemption. I'm coming for you, Chip In, I'm coming for you. Husky! All right, time is going. Let's get started with the kebab meat. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode of the Munchbox Memoirs. That's right. This series is getting some traction. A lot of people are enjoying it. I'm thankful for that. Anyway, today we're doing the uh, the Chip Inns Mega Beast Box. And the kebab meat has actually stood up pretty well to the uh, to the journey home. Chicken kebab meat next. Yeah, the doner kebab meat. I've had much worse and um, and not much better. So uh, thumbs up for the doner kebab meat. The chicken kebab meat, though, was a real standout. That and the garlic mayo together, I don't know what it was, but it tasted pretty special. This chicken kebab meat is decent. I'm actually enjoying it. I know what you're thinking. You, you, you sat there flabbergasted right now, jaw on the floor, thinking, wow, he, he's actually enjoying some greasy kebab meat. <laughs> what can I say? I'm, I'm as surprised as you are. I, I wouldn't get used to, though. I, I mean, we're, we're five minutes in. I, I'm bound to start moaning about something anytime now. <laughs> All right, now I better get stuck into the pizza because uh, this will probably be the hardest thing when it's cold. Either this or the chips. Yeah, one or the other. Tough choice. We're between a, a rock and a starch place. <laughs> I know why I'm laughing. That, that's not funny. The pizza, eh, it wasn't great. Compared to the, the one from the, the Ben's Pizza Munch Box a few weeks ago, not the finest. <sighs> Judging by my past folly, I, I should probably get stuck into the chips about now. I don't want to be left with a big pile of cold ones. <clears throat> yeah, it's inevitable. Like, why fight it? It's like, uh, I don't know, another Michael Bublé Christmas album. Or the 15th Fast and Furious movie. They, they're both gonna happen. <laughs> why, why try and resist? At some point, there'll be a big pile of cold something left. I am thankful though, I, I will say at this stage, that these are not frozen chips. They're chip shop style chips, meaning they're at least a little fluffy. There's some air in there. So they're a little easier to, to eat, especially with the plenty of fluids on hand than the, the really kind of tough, gritty frozen chips you usually get. I'm relieved that these are um, British fish and chip stop. Fish and chip stop? Fish and chip shop. 
style chips rather than the frozen ones. This sounds familiar. I think I might have said that already as recently as about eight seconds ago. <laughs> anyway, what we are now, about 15 minutes, lots of chips to go. Thankfully, the uh, the cheese coped quite well with the journey home. So it's still reasonably pleasant to, to eat at this point. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> well, at least I've got almost all the chips out of the way now. Oh. Yeah, that was a relief. That, that's caught me out in a, in a couple of these uh, episodes before. Look at that. The tensile strength of that cheese was for a moment there quite impressive. Anyway, it looks like we're almost done, right? It does. But, um,. We're not, because if you've seen any of these episodes before, you'll know by now the food is, in fact, quite cold, which past the 20 minute mark does make things uh, rather difficult. And no, it's not really practical to reheat the stuff if you feel the need to leave a comment, but it does make things interesting. <sighs> I'm ending on the onion rings. I should have got some more sauce for the nuggets. You say you wanted some sauce. I'm the saltiest looking thing in this house. I attacked the um. Chips, I attacked the chips. Well, not first, second. But now I've got this um cold Hawaiian pizza. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, you heard it here first. Mrs. Beard is the sauciest thing in our household, apparently. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> onto the uh, the pineapple pizza. Try not to get triggered. <laughs> oh, oh, <sighs> Leaving the pizza to the end was a bad decision. That was a bad call. Yeah, but we all make them. Me more than most, in fact. At this point, I I'm clinging onto these onion rings like they're the last train home or something. <laughs> the prospect of eating these things is really what's keeping me going, because I love onion rings. <sighs> <sighs> The pizza is almost impossible to chew at this point. <clears throat> We're almost there. <sighs> Come on, suck it up, buddy. You can do it. The onion rings actually were, I mean, my judgment is impaired somewhat because <laughs> my body is just, you know, full of pizza and, and kebab meat and chicken kebab meat and, uh, and chips. But the onion rings were alright, they were, they, were, they were crispy, and even when cold, they had a nice kind of gooey sweetness in the middle, which is what you're looking for from an onion ring. And my, I can't believe this, we're 40 minutes in. This is taking a, a long time. I'm putting that down to the, the temperature of the food, that's, that's my get out. <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. Oh, oh 40 minutes. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. <coughs> oh man, you know I'm in trouble when uh, when I start quoting proverbs <laughs> for no reason. Anyway, I, I've got to say, like, what can I say about the, the the chip in Mega Beast box? I enjoyed it certainly a lot more. I mean, my face doesn't tell that story, but uh, I enjoyed it a lot more than the giant kebab box they do, which I tried a few years back. More variety here, uh, and less kebab meat. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these things. 
but they always make you want to poop while you're still eating. That shouldn't happen. Uh -huh. I'm getting flashbacks of when I was filming that. This has happened a couple of times now with these munchbox things, but the overwhelming difficulty at this point becomes, without getting too graphic, the fact that I really need to use a toilet. So I'm trying to keep it at bay. Oh, I need poop. Oh, I need to Oh. Oof. Oh, this one's really making me laugh. This is actually quite humorous to watch. To watch back. I'm, yeah, I've, I've lost the belt. I'm preparing for a, a breakneck trip to the uh, to the toilet <laughs> immediately afterwards. And the chipmunk rule, I'm well and truly enforcing that on, on this video. I fit on this. This is Beamish Food, and that was the Chipping Mega Beast Box. That's so enough. That's so enough. That's so enough. I'll catch you next time. Such a, that's quite true, yeah, I think. <laughs>